Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the meaning of prepositions, and we're going to be talking about that through a circuit example. All right, so this circuit consists of four elements and starts with the battery. The battery has a voltage equal to 10 volts. The battery is then linked to the switch and the switch, when closed, allows electricity to flow through the circuit when the switch is open, electricity cannot flow through the circuit. This is then connected to the resistor 1, and resistor 1 has a value of 2 ohms. This resistor, if we wanted to determine the voltage across this resistor, we would do V equals IR with our current in our circuit being 2 amps times the 2 ohms would be 4 volts. So the value of the voltage at the resistor is 4 volts. This is the voltage across the resistor. This is then linked to the light bulb where current flows into the light bulb, lights it up, and then flows out of the light bulb and back into the battery. So currently, everything is connected in series in our circuit. If we wanted to draw another resistor like this, this resistor is then connected in parallel with this resistor. And now our circuit is composed of five elements instead of four. So these are all of the prepositions that I have mentioned in this video, the verbs that I use that go with them. As you can see, you can use more than one verb to go before a certain preposition, and sometimes the verb you use will change the meaning of that preposition. And all of these prepositions can be used with more verbs than what I just used, but these are just some examples.